I want to know how many of you come to celebrate tonight. I need all the worshipers to make some noise up in here. You know they don't praise them like this no more. But the Bible says let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So if you feel like dancing, if you feel like shouting, don't let nobody stop you. Get your praise on because he's worthy. Welcome back to the Power of Gospel. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Pastor Lawrence Powell out of Rollway, New Jersey. Truly an awesome man of God with a ministry that is on the rise. Now don't get it confused. He has so many activities going on that is actually how I was able to catch up with none other than Miss Martha Menenzi. A free concert at Agape Family Worship allowed me to spend some time with her. Now it was after sound check and before she went on to minister in song. And here are some things that she had had to say. I'm sitting here with Martha Menenzi and I'm just so excited to be able to talk to you because you have a new project out that is just absolutely awesome. It's called No Limits and I feel like I can give the entire bio. But before <laughs> I do that, none other I want to introduce to you. Miss Martha Menunzi, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing extremely well, and I'm very excited for you about your new project that you have out Thank today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, you have to tell my audience just really how was it inspired, and it's called No Limits. Yes. But where did the inspiration from this worship CD come from? Well, I, I really wanted to, to wait to put a record out until I felt something in my spirit. And the, the whole theme, I, I, preachers are preaching it, other singers are singing about you know, th there's no limits, no boundaries, increase. And I heard the song. I didn't write the song, but I heard the song from Derek Thomas. And he's one of the co-writers on the song. He's from Michael Pitt's church in Ohio, Toledo, Ohio. And he is just a great writer. He's written so many great songs like New Season. You know, that'll be great. Great songs. And he sent me some songs. And uh, I listened to the, uh, the first song, which was No Limits. And I said, that is a, I love the whole theme of right. that. It was just a great theme and a great sound, and I loved everything. We kind of took it to the next level, but um, I just loved the whole idea that there's no limits in God, and it kind of pers it really personifies, and, and it's the message of my ministry and what God's called me to. That you know boundaries have been torn down and and uh, and walls have been you know Amen. crumbled down, and God's doing it in our ministry. We're doing things that are history making, and so. That song personifies that for me. And that is absolutely awesome. And, and you are a worship leader. I mean, you know, just to listen to your music, you know, just signifies worship. And this album is a live recording of an experience of worship. How yes. challenging was it to do it live? It's very challenging. It's very, can be very scary. <laughs> but we went in to do it with a lot of prayer. We, we, put all the songs together and uh, had was, we're at a great church in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, ministering there. And so just a, a great pastor, great worship there. So we really went in with a kindred spirit with the, with the people and they already knew me. So that worked out great. And so they just joined in as if they heard all the songs before. Cause Amen. usually you don't do that. You know, you try to, especially praise and worship. It's, it needs to be tried and true before you get up and sing it like that cold, but they joined in and just worshiped along with us. It was a great experience. Well, now talk about the church for a moment, because I know that this church um, had a significant impact after hurricane Katrina. Yes. So I want to talk about that and what that church has done as a result of, you know, the catastrophe that, free that happened well we recorded in june back in june and at this church actually the church is called bethany world prayer center pastor larry Stockstill, and just a great church it's more of a cell group church is really what it is but there are over twelve thousand members it's just incredible church very missions oriented missions minded and uh, music driven you know it's great so um they actually after after we recorded in june katrina hit in august right. And this church actually housed over 800 evacuees that left New Orleans, which is only 40 minutes away from Baton Rouge. You know, it's very close. And they came and were housed and clothed and fed and actually put back. Families were actually reunited and put back into the workplace. And it was amazing. They said that for month, for weeks and weeks and weeks that there were, their services even changed because they were coming to church. 750 got saved the first week. You know, that is... You know, that's the great thing about God, that although the devil comes to steal and kill and destroy, God always comes to give life, and all things work together for our good. good. And it really impacted their church. And also, one of the songs that we put on the record, No Limits, is the song called While You Worship. And I didn't have any, when I wrote the song, of course, I wouldn't have known Katrina was going to hit. But it's a, it's a song about a storm. 
You can make it through the storm. You can make it through the rain. The rain won't last forever. And we didn't realize that it was truly prophetic for that house. Well, one of the things that I liked is that I, I actually had an opportunity to hear while you worship. And it really is an encouragement song. No matter how depressed or down and out that you yes. are, it really lifts your spirit. And, and, and I um, shared with you at one point that um, it's a soothing song. Yes. And it, it has to take you to another level, even in your own intimate, private time and private worship. That's right. How important is that to be able to connect with individuals one on one and be able to minister? to their needs it's it's extremely important you know to minister to people one-on-one someone asked me today they said what is ministry to you and ministry is rescuing people is seeing someone whose face looks so down and depressed and and under and after you minister to them there's hope restored and they're smiling again and there's life in their face again and you, they just come up to you and say I feel so much better God's going to do it for me when I came in here tonight I wasn't sure I mean it's incredible to get emails and people come up to me all the time and give me great testimonies a woman today came to me and said you know uh, my sister was completely delivered from cocaine when she listened to your music completely delivered in a minute never to go back again I mean that those are the things you can't make happen that's just the anointing so ministry is number one if I don't minister through my music there's no point in doing any of this. I go do something else. <laughs> now, you know, it, it's interesting because we do appreciate the music that you put out and we want to get to a level of worship, but also on your particular CD, No Limits Live, mm -hmm. you have some evangelistic yes. music in there. And that's so important to be able to reach the unreached. Right. And, and, and how were you able to create the balance so that you didn't lean too heavily on the body of Christ and being mm -hmm. able to minister to their needs, but also to make sure that the unreached people were also addressed? Well, really, I just did what was in my heart to do. And God will birth things in your heart that's on his heart. And sometimes we, I have found that the things that I'm singing about and writing about are really when I'm spending time with him and he gives them to me, I find that that's really the meth the messages and the, the things that are on God's heart. So he delivers that to me and then I deliver that to the people. So in a lot of ministers, that's how, that's how it, it works. You know, you hear what God is saying. And so I really felt God really moving in the area of evangelism in my life that truly it's, it's so much more than just, you know, the church people ministering to church people. And the church is number one. It's important. You've got to have the local body. But sometimes we don't, we get so caught up in our four walls that there's so much more. There's so many people that are lost that may never come into church. And so I've, I didn't really, it didn't put a whole lot of thought into it. Really, my spirit was really leading me. And so as I begin to write the song, um, what he's done for me is so amazing. And I know he'll do for you what he's done for me. It's a simple chorus about the grace and the, and the, this is the gospel, truly. And then as we begin to put the song together, I realized, wow, this is, this is what's been on my heart. This song's been on my heart. And it truly will reach the unbeliever. But yet it doesn't leave the church out. And you know what? It speaks so plainly. It speaks to your very specific needs that mm -hmm. you may have, and it can address where you're standing. And that's what's so dynamic about it, you know, because it's very important that we keep the gospel simple. Yes. Sometimes it can simple. be a little challenging and we dress it up. But right. if we could just keep the gospel simple Amen. for a moment, then somebody might be saved. Somebody might be healed. That's somebody right. might be delivered. And so I do want to come back because I really want to know what goes on in the private life of Miss Martha Menenzi. We'll be right back. I want to know how many of you come to celebrate. 